allies. He's preparing to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin, where he plans to discuss recent cyber attacks as well. Our Washington correspondent, Anna Wernick, he joins us live in D.C. right now with what else we can expect this week. Anna. Good evening, Russ. That's right. President Biden is in Brussels today at the NATO headquarters. This is his second in his three-stop trip overseas in Europe, and there is a lot on the agenda to discuss this week. Everything from China to climate change and, of course, Russia. NATO is critically important for U.S. interest. In Brussels on Monday, President Biden reaffirmed America's commitment to its NATO allies. The U.S. commitment to Article 5, the NATO treaty, is rock solid and unshakable. Biden met with European leaders Monday morning to discuss how NATO should adapt to new challenges, including cyber attacks, climate change, and growing threats from China and Russia. Russia and China are both seeking to drive a wedge in our transatlantic solidarity. We're seeing an increase in malicious cyber activity. Our relationship uh, with Russia is at its lowest point since uh, the Cold War. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says the leaders agreed they want to tackle these challenges diplomatically. Keep our defenses strong while remaining ready to talk. The Biden administration already imposed sanctions against Moscow over several past cyber attacks. Russian President Vladimir Putin denied those allegations in an interview with NBC News on Monday. We have been accused of all kinds of things, election interference, cyber attacks and so on and so forth. And not once, not once, not one time did they bother to produce any kind of evidence or proof. And President Biden is set to meet face to face with Putin on Wednesday in Geneva. The last time that these two met face to face was 10 years ago when Biden was serving as a vice president and Putin was prime minister. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Russ, back to you. Anna, before you go, any sense that any other foreign leaders have anything to say about what they think that uh, Biden should bring up to Putin during their summit? Well, we are told that last week during the G7 summit that the president did have a chance to talk to a few foreign leaders about this conversation on Wednesday, uh, including the German chancellor. We're also told it came up uh, during tea with Queen Elizabeth. Uh, so it is on the top of everybody's mind heading into Wednesday. We know that the president is spending a lot of his mornings this week uh, preparing for this meeting, uh, talking to his advisors as well as his senior officials. Going to be very interesting to see what they say. All right, Anna Wernicke, live for us today on this Monday in D.C. Thank you. New